It's foolish to say that time is against us. Because if time were the only thing against us, then we would all just die peacefully of old age in our sleep. Just go when your time is up, you know? But that's not reality. Reality is that a bullet could hit me at any moment and I could be dead. Or I could be crossing the street and just get smoked by a truck. Or I could get cancer and age more in the next nine months than I would have in the next 30 years. You see, time is not against us. We are against time. Our existence on this planet consists of us constantly trying to obtain more and more time, and all time wants to do is just slip through our fingertips. But to understand what I mean, you have to know my story, or lack thereof. I believe the term for the problem I will be experiencing in a few short moments is called classical conditioning. You see, this one scientist named Ivan Pavlov decided one day to be a dickhead to dogs and came up with an experiment to trick them. Now in this experiment, he would ring a bell and then give them food, which would cause them to drool. Then after a while, the dogs would just begin to drool on their own after hearing the bell, regardless of whether they got food or not. Now for me, it's a very different reaction, caused by the most evil sound in the world. Not what Pavlov had in mind, but I find it's easier to say I have classical conditioning rather than explain to a person that I have been so hungover almost every morning since I graduated college that the sound of my own alarm clock makes me puke upon hearing it. What was that? Oh, what, that? Oh, that was nothing. That's just classical conditioning. It's something I live with, but I don't let it control my life. You poor thing. Is it serious? Oh, it's real serious. Oh. Do you think you'll be all right? However, it doesn't always go that smooth. My name is George, and I am useless, or so I've been told recently, and pretty much feel most of the time. I'm 23 years old, and to be perfectly honest, I have no idea what the hell I want to do with my life. So in the process of figuring this out, I figure I'll just do nothing. The worst part about being a college graduate with a degree in uselessness, a minor in immaturity, and no direction in life is seeing relatives and other adults. Oh, George, joining the old workforce anytime soon? Or, hey, how's that nine to five there, Georgie? Lately, I've just been a sort of George of all trades, if you will. Hey, George. Uncle Rick. Hey, hey, Uncle Rick. What's going on? How you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Good, good, yeah. yeah. What have you been up to since graduation? Uh, you know... Uh, I hear William of, uh... is doing great. He's got a new job with J.P. Morgan in the city. Yeah, yeah. that's good for him, yeah. He was always a go-getter, wasn't he, that William? He absolutely was. Very tenacious guy. So what have you been doing? <sighs> I've actually been doing a lot of marketing for a beer company. <sighs> this beer is fucking good, Yeah, I was about right? to say that. Hey, hey, Jake, Jake, this beer is fucking good, man. You should get it next time. What is this, winter ale? 
No kidding. Yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. It's been going great. It's been going yeah. great. Terrific. Yeah. Good for you. Hey, George. Oh. <laughs> How are you? Hey, Mrs. Murphy. Nice to see you. There you are. Like clockwork. <laughs> yeah, well, you know me. Yeah. How's it going? Oh, it's going good. Yeah, what you have know. you been up to since school? Well, you know, I've been doing some chiropractor work on the side. A little massage therapy stuff, you know, making a little extra cash, oh, a little extra dough. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, 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 Good for you. Well, that helps me too because I have this pain in my back maybe you can help me with. Yeah, sure. Not a problem, not a problem. Bitch, I could take a look at that. Good. Yeah, I mean, you know what they say, the one hand washes the other, right? That's what they say. Yeah. Okay, George. Hey, George. Oh, hey. Mr. Mason, what's up? How you doing? Good, how you doing? I'm doing good. What you yeah. up to? I'm an accountant. Really? Jake, if we don't eat lunch or dinner, we can buy a keg. Uh, you're off today? Monday. I know it's yeah. Monday, but we go by the Islamic calendar. We have like a couple Middle Eastern guys that work there. Yeah. Like affirmative action or Title IX or something like that. Kidding, I'm gonna right? go take a shit later. In my defense, I have been keeping a strict, healthy diet. I've also been exercising a lot lately. You know, just staying active all the time. And other than the occasional intellectual stimulation, I mostly just sit around and have useless conversations with Jake. Hey, you ever wonder, um, you ever wonder what you'd order for your last meal if you were on death row? Why? What would your last meal be? Uh, I was thinking. I've really been thinking pretty seriously about it lately. Yeah. Sushi. Sushi? Why? Because, dude. I feel like sushi is a very mature, grown-up thing to eat, you know? Yeah. I feel like people who really have their shit together, they eat sushi. Yeah. Yeah, like really cultural, intellectual type people eat sushi. I, I see it. I saw it on the street. Yeah. You know, maybe... Maybe you and me should start eating sushi, Jake. And maybe, just maybe, that'll be the spark that we need to turn our lives around, man. 180. I like where your mind's at. Get some sushi, get some brain food, 180, dude. Let's do it. Yes! You know any good sushi joints? Uh, oh, that pizza place down the street, they do sushi. Pizza... Pizza Deli does sushi? No, it's called Pizza Deli Sushi. Oh yeah, that's right. It's awesome, I'm telling you. Sweet. Alright, well I'll order, and uh, you pick it up. No, dude. I always fucking pick up. Get out of this shithole and go get it. Rock, paper, scissors, boy. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Damn it. Here to pick up an order for George? Ah, okay. One second. Thanks. You want a job? No, uh, I'm all set. Thanks, though. 
You have job. No. No job yet for me. Then why you no know one job? What happened to the kid that used to answer the phone to you? That's my son. Oh, it is? Huh. He's a really nice guy. Where's he at now? He died one month today from a car accident. Wow. Um, I'm so sorry to hear that. Here. Just keep the change. Man. Wait. Fortune cookies. Going, man. Oh my God, Tim! I didn't even realize it was you. Uh, what? Hey, what are you up to, man? How you uh, been? Just work, work, yeah? work, work. That's all I have time for these days. Oh. Actually, kind of sucks. Work, work, work. Uh, actually, it's pretty sweet. I, I mean, the company I work for makes all the new guys work like 60-hour weeks for the first few years or so. But um, uh, it's totally gonna pay off. I'm gonna be like absolutely crushing it in, in like seven years. Oh yeah. Well, at least you got that to look forward to. So, so yeah. You know. Um, all right, man. Well, uh, really, really good to see you. You um, too. I got some fresh sushi here. You know, uh, I don't right. want it to go yeah. bad, right? You know, you gotta eat that shit when it's fresh. Absolutely. Uh, if you ever get a chance, you should stop by. Yeah. Man. I'm still hanging out with Jakey. No way. You know, yeah. yeah. Come over, have a beer. We got tons of beer. Absolutely. Uh, boom, bam, market. I'm there. Death. All right, man. All right. Cool. Hey, careful. Careful there. Shit. Don't worry, Mom. Oh, dude. I almost forgot our fortune cookies. There is no greater waste than the waste of time. You want job? Hey, you! Yeah, you. Sitting there doing nothing with your life. Aren't you tired of lying to your relatives about your job? Tired of being a disappointment to everybody? Tired of eating sushi from the same old pizza place? Well, now is the time to do something with your life. Now is the time to become somebody. Now is the time to serve your country. It's your time. It's our time. It's army time. So, that is what brings me here. Running through the woods for my enemy. You see, hearing about the sushi man's son and then talking to Tim and finding out how he isn't gonna have a free minute until he is 30 made me realize that I need to stop wasting away in my godforsaken house and do something with my life. Then I saw that army commercial which made me realize that I had these sweet ass pair of camouflage suits in my attic that I could use to play paintball with. Listen, I'm not cut out for the army and I am not cut out for a desk job. But I can't keep doing what I have been doing, which is absolutely nothing. It's an insult to people whose time has been cut short who would have done something had they had more of it. I'm not saying quit your job and go play paintball or something. I'm just saying do something. Do something that will make you happy or help others. 
or maybe helping others makes you happy and you can kill two birds with one stone. Whatever you do, just do not waste any of the precious time you receive on this planet. Because even when it might seem like you have a lot of it, the time you have pales in comparison to the time you don't have. You know, I read on a fortune cookie once that the biggest waste in life is the waste of time. So if you won't listen to me, fine. But at least listen to the cookie. <laughs>